outstanding pitching. Uh, what, uh, what, what we just uh, witnessed here tonight. Uh, both guys, I thought Ariel Miranda might have been his best outing of the year. Uh, really, you know, lively fastball, um, cut right through their water, got the off-speed stuff going. Really, really impressive. Um, you know, he made the one mistake to Abreu. I uh, left a change up or split finger up uh, on a 2 0 count. So, uh, other than that, though, you can't say enough about the job he did. Unfortunately, their guy was just as good, if not a little bit better, uh, which Quintana can do. Um, so, obviously, very well pitched game. And, you know, bright side for us, a lot of Eddie Diaz threw the ball really well tonight. Um, so, you know, get him back moving in the right direction is a definite positive for us. But, uh, you know, they shut us down. You know, they pitched very well. We didn't get much going offensively. And, you know, that was kind of the story. That, Story of the game. Uh, you know, you could kind of see that game developing. You know, as it went along, and you know, it was going to take a break or a big hit by us. We just just didn't get it. Then when Quintana's right, what, what does he do to make? Well, he can really move both sides, of, move the fastball to both sides of the plate. Uh, what he did tonight too. He's very deceptive. You know, the, the gun may say it's 91, 92, but it's coming out. It's it's got a lot of life to it. And uh, you know, later in the game, he went to a changeup. Didn't show all of his pitches first time through the order, and then started to mix in the changeup and the breaking ball later. So again, everybody knows he's one of the better lefties in the league. But I thought uh, Miranda hung right with him every every step of the way. Miranda's been missing bats in the last couple of games. Is it doing, doing anything different? He's uh, you know, he's deceptive. The fastball has that extra life on it. Um, and then when he gets guys on the fastball timing, he's able to back off with the off speed and get some swing and misses, some bad swings uh, on some, some pitches in the dirt and other stuff because guys are out trying to get the fastball. So, uh, again, outstanding job by Miranda. Couldn't be any happier for the way he threw the ball. Diaz bouncing back. I mean, that's, that's, that's a pretty big sign for you. Very positive. Um, you know, Eddie's been working with Mel the last couple of days and trying to get some, you know, staying back over the rubber, giving his arm a chance to get up. And uh, it really was tonight. The breaking ball came back. That's the slider we're used to seeing out of Eddie. And we're going to need it. You know, there's, there's no doubt he's going to be a big part of our bullpen and hopefully, you know, work his way back, you know, into that ninth inning spot. But definite positive, you know, move for him tonight. The game will get caught between first and second. But what should have happened? Yeah, very uncharacteristic of, of Ben Gamble. Uh, you know, he's he usually, you know, plays hard all the time and, you know, disappointed. He popped the ball up, but you cannot take anything for granted, you know, even the big leagues. You know, the pop-ups, they drop once in a while. So, uh, uh, rookie mistake. Um, he certainly knows it's a mistake. Uh, he's heard it. Um, but, again, very uncharacteristic of him. You get into those later innings when, when you have a lot of hits. You get later in the innings, guys are in their third at bat. You got to be careful to make sure they don't start maybe pushing or trying to do a little too much, trying to trying to make something happen. Yeah, I mean, guys know that uh, we haven't had a whole lot going offensively, and uh, I don't think guys are trying to do too much. Hopefully, the third time, fourth time around, you know, you you settle in, you have a better idea of what he's doing. That's what made Quintana very good tonight. He didn't show the change up until later in the game. He was able to strike out a few of our guys and, and make our guys look bad. He hadn't seen it earlier in the game, so. You, know, you got to tip your hat to him. Scott, did you like the sequence to Melky he comes ahead of two? I think like a couple. Yeah, tough call. You know, there. Um, you know, Tony got ahead of him. Obviously, when you're ahead 0-2, you'd like him to hit our pitch located in the right spot. He made a mistake. He was trying to to bury a slider. Um, he, he left it up enough where uh, Cabrera could get the bat to it. So. Uh, uh, disappointing when you got a guy 0-2 like that. You really want him to hit your pitch, and hopefully it's something out of the zone. Um, he made a mistake, and really in a game like that, that's what it comes down to: is, is one fatal mistake. Scott, if he falls behind there, do you just put yeah, him on? yeah, probably so. Uh, but you know, Abreu was swinging the bat very well tonight. Uh, there's no doubt. It's it's a tough call. You know, we discussed it as a coaching staff where we wanted to go. You could see it coming, the inning developing. You know. Um, after the bunt over, but you know, that's the way we decided to go with it. We got ahead in the count, felt really good about it, just, just didn't execute. Back to Eddie real quick. Did you see the stuff that you wanted to see? The results were good, but I mean, the, yes, the I arm. did. Yes, uh, I thought the arm. I think was able to locate his fastball to the glove side. You didn't see the balls running off the plate like we'd seen, you know, the last few times, quite a bit this spring, uh, early in the season. We've seen the fastball, and he was able to get it to the glove side, and that really helps his breaking ball as well. So getting his hand out front and driving it, and get some depth to the breaking ball. So. Uh, definitely saw some some things I really liked. It seemed like he was a little more controlled in his delivery, not quite as quick. Yeah, just... yeah. He, he was slowing it down tonight. And I think, you know, the ninth inning, the adrenaline that that brings, and I, sometimes, you know, it's really what I wanted to do, you know, to get him a couple innings so he can go out and feel it and work on it and kind of s slow the heartbeat down a little bit and pitch instead of getting call up, all caught up in the emotion and everything that goes with the, the ninth inning or a save opportunity.